Well, if you're like many people who are always on the go, you may need a little help keeping it all together. And Michelle Lee is here to tell us about a few things that are that'll help people with very busy working <laughs> lives. Everything from pet cams to mobile wallets. Yeah, this is great. You know, life just keeps getting busier yeah. and busier for everyone. And our gadgets, though, keep making it easier for us. So that's some good news. But first up, I want to show you the Pet Cube. Uh, this is a really great tool if you're on the go, but you want to watch your pets. Uh, it's not only a webcam, it's also interactive. So you just download the app, and then the Cube connects to your Wi-Fi. You can play laser games with your pets. You can also even talk to them. So this is the cool <laughs> thing too. You can share access to the camera with friends and family so they can exercise your pet as well. Lots of fun, but I will say this one does cost $199. So it's a little Austin. pricey, but if you, you know, if your pets are your babies, you might want to consider your it. Pen, you're going to watch your dog sleep yeah. all day. I'm going to take this home and try it out. I want to know how it works for okay. you. I, I liked it. Okay. If you're on the go and you get tired of carrying a million cards, you can consider getting a mobile wallet. I have this on my phone. Great stuff. Uh, Apple Pay and Google Wallet have been out for a while now, but Google Wallet has really stepped it up lately and bought another mobile wallet called SoftCard, and now the two are taking over Android phones. So very simple here. The Google Wallet helps you tap to pay. You can load your gift cards there, which is great because I actually loaded a few of my gift cards and used them there. Uh, you can also load your loyalty cards and your credit cards. You can send money, you can track purchases, and so forth. And then you can use it anywhere that takes debit MasterCard. So the idea is that it one day will be safer than your real cards because Google Wallet never shows your real information in the app and it's also free. You can also get an actual freestanding Google Wallet card as well. I have one of those, but I yeah. I used the, the phone thing at Walgreens the other day. Yeah, it's great. It's amazing. You just scan it like that. Okay. Very easy. Um, if you don't have a Verizon Jetpack, now is really the time to consider this one. Guy? Yeah, that guy. We use it all the time for work, but a lot of people find themselves, you know, needing Wi-Fi on the go. This is safer than using public Wi-Fi. You can turn it on. You can connect it to your laptop or your tablet, and it even works outside the country, so that's really neat. We use this all the time. Yeah, yeah. we do use it all the time. Uh, there are some usually specials, and then you have to pay for the data. Sometimes that's in your phone plan, but it ends up working out really well. I, I personally like using yeah, they it. They work. Yeah. Um, and then finally, we have the Kajito Connected Watch. There you see it. That is great if you want to be alerted of all the things coming into your phone, like notifications or missed calls, emails, texts, social, me social messages, etc. And it will also keep track of how many steps you take that day. Um, we used it when we were in Indy covering the final four. So it's great to be alerted. Uh, but if you're getting, you know, 200 messages an hour, sometimes like we do for work, right. it is kind of hard to know where all the messages are coming from. But it is a very nice looking watch. It has a great battery life. And this one costs nearly $180 at stores like Macy's and Target. But a so lot of great So that's a lot less than the Apple one. Well, this yeah. is for Android. That's for Android. But, well, you can use it, uh, you know, for Apple, I think, as well. But I took 14,000 steps in one day. Wow. Which Congratulations. Was amazing. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, it's neat. It keeps track of a lot of stuff going on in your life. And I, and I, I like the watch. I so. like the look of the watch yeah. too. It's I like the look of the watch too. It's uh, it's I think it's cool for guys and for girls. So I, I really like that that's, one. That's one of the criticisms of the Apple Watch is it costs a lot of money. Everything costs a lot of money. I mean, oh, 180, that's but if you know if you're using it every day and, and you use it for you know work or whatever, it's great. So it's you can big. use that to watch the news hounds on the pet <laughs> cam there. Yeah, and get your notifications <laughs> that way. It all crashes together. Yeah, so lots of yep. good stuff yeah. out here. Very, very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Very Special interesting. thanks to Verizon for letting us borrow some of those too. All oh, right. great. Thanks, Michelle. Yeah. And we'll be oh go to channel3000.com for more information on all. Absolutely. This stuff. All yes. Right. Now we'll be right back. <laughs>